everybody, it's Derek with The Ultimate Hang, and today we're going to weave a Mayan hammock. Behind me I've got my hammock loom that I constructed, and all of the instructions and details are on my website at theultimatehang.com. A real quick overview of this loom though, is that it's adjustable because of notches that I have on the horizontal beams. The vertical beams are roughly six feet tall, and the horizontal beams adjustable so I can create a hammock bed that is two meters long, in this case it's the width here, or I can go a little longer depending on what size of hammock I want to make. The first step in weaving the Mayan hammock is loading the loom with your weft, and I've wrapped around the two posts, you can probably barely see it uh, because it's white, number 18 twisted nylon between the two vertical posts. And the nice thing about a Mayan hammock is you can alternate these colors at any time you want to vary the, uh, the weave and the, and the pattern. After you've wrapped the loom with the, the string, the first thing to do on the weaving process is the edge. Now the edging, I've already started here, is really critical to the hammock because it forms the, the edging. It gives it a nice shape to the hammock. But also more importantly is that it also provides these um, spacing so that your hammock, the, the, the weaving, has a very even look throughout the hammock. Most uh, quality hammocks have 20 of these spaces and they're evenly spaced about three to four inches apart. The knots beginning right at the end, uh, right close to the vertical posts, evenly spaced all the way along. You're going to create about between four and ten rows of this edging and then you'll start the actual weaving process, the triple weave of the Mayan hammock. Here is our weaving shuttle, also called a netting needle, and I'm going to show you how to uh, put the, the yarn on. It's really easy actually. I'm just going to first just do a simple hitch like this around the uh, string, and then it goes <clears throat> back around on the other side, and then you just keep flipping it back and forth like this. To start our Mayan hammock, we've got to first do the edge weave, and it's a simple pattern of overhand knots. So I'm going to use an alternating color here, and it's going to capture the uh, two of the warp lines as we go around. So I've got my netting needle, I'm going to pass it around the back side of the first line, and then go around the, these two top lines and then through the front. If you're not careful, you'll create a figure eight knot. You don't want to do that. You just want to do a simple overhand knot. You can see that's what I've got right here. It's just an overhand knot. And I'm going to dress that up to be close to the edge of my loom. That's going to create the, the, the first set of knots at the very edge. Tighten it up. And then I'm going to continue that pattern. I'm going to go around the back side of the bottom line, around the two, and then through. Let's tie the knot, and then dress it up. Uh, 21 knots, evenly spaced, and that will create 20 sections. It's important that we have 20 sections because that is going to allow us to have a nice uniform weave when we start the Mayan pattern. All right, we're ready to start the second row of knots, and this will be the pattern for all the rest of the knots as we go around. We have, you know, our green lines should be spaced between the two white lines. And as we come around, we're going to come around, uh, as we loop around our loom, gonna, at, at the knot, we're going to pick the top white line coming from the back, and then we're going to capture the next line above it, go around the back, and on the other side of the knot, you can see there's our overhand knot, we're just going to go right through here, and pull it tight. That's going to pull down the line, and snug it up, and we're going to repeat that pattern on the next row here. And we're going to come around from the back side. 
right on the other side of the knot. Then we've got these three. We're going to come around there on the back side and then through to create an overhand knot and tighten it right up. All right, we've done a couple of rows now of knots and you can start to see there's a really pretty pattern that happens with those overhand knots. And we're now going to start the actual Mayan weave. And to do that, the, the pattern is fairly simple. It is under two, over one, and a back around. So we're going to take, we, we want to do two of those in each section. So we're going to grab two, the, the top two lines here. We're going to go under those. And then the, we're going to pull down a line. And we're going to go over that one. So there's the pattern. Under two, over the top of one. And then we're going to come back around. Like that. So there's one. And we're also in the same section, under two, over one. And back around. Now we're going to move on to the next section and do that same pattern. Under two, over one, and back around. Under two, over one, and back around. To start the next set, when you come back around, well, let's see, I'll loosen this up a little bit so you can see the pattern. You start to see uh, dips peaks and valleys in this triple weave. Wherever there is a dip, that is gonna be where we pick up the two strands. So between the peaks is where we're gonna go. So we're loop back around. So we've got a valley right here. We're gonna pick up, and it should be uh, to the two white ones is what we're working on now. So we're gonna go under two, bring down another one, and over one. and back through. Look for the next valley. Under two, over one, and back around. And that, that is the pattern. So here is a finished hammock that I've made. And this is uh, showing the triple weave. You can see that nice pattern as you sit stretches really nice, kind of like an accordion, and scrunches back up. Lots of fun, crazy colors. Nice tight weave when you do it for real and not on a, a fake loom. Now let me show you the ends. Um, to finish off the hammock, to make this what we would call the clue and the nettles, The, all of the nettles are the same length. You gather up about six of the hammock loops here and thread the nettle through. And it's just one continuous piece and it really helps to have like a peg where you can uh, peg the end and loop it around. And that's all I did is just loop it around, go through about six, a, a bundle of six and that's how they're separated out, a bundle of, of six of the hammock strands. And, uh, and then when you're done, when you've tied it off, you want to do the, the loop at the end. And this is just a coxcombing, a, a single strand coxcombing. You whip, whip the, uh, the ends together, almost like you're uh, whipping the end of a rope. And then I just coxcomb it all the way around to give a nice finished look to that clue. And then your hammock is done. The, the nettles are actually fairly easy to put together. And I'll have uh, some links to how you can do this coxcombing on my website at theultimatehang.com.